Hello, I'm James Bernard, music producer, sound designer, and instructor here at DubSpot in Los Angeles. Many of you have probably heard of the new Bitwig Studio, which is the latest entry into the DAW market. Bitwig Studio takes many of the greatest features from the most popular DAWs and creates a new workflow based around them. This video will be the first in a multi-part series as I take you on a tour of some of the most exciting and compelling features of Bitwig Studio. One of the things Bitwig Studio has is a unified display. As you can see, Bitwig Studio uses a single application window for all of its panels and views, which eliminates any stray pop-up windows, except for those used with plugins. Here we have the Track Inspector, which displays all parameters for any selected clips, notes, audio events, or tracks. There are three main windows or views. The first is the Arrange view, and this lets you focus on assembling music by recording and ordering clips. The next is the Mix view, which focuses on mixing tracks and triggering clips. You can very quickly switch between the Arranger and the Mix view panel by using the Tab key. And the last is the Edit view, which is for making detailed edits to clips. You'll notice that there are additional buttons next to the main view buttons. These buttons allow us to access the more detailed editors for the clips themselves. Down here you have the device view, which shows you the device chain for the currently selected track. Here's where you will see things like instruments or effects that could be part of a track. When you have a clip selected, you can also bring up the note editor by clicking on this button. This button brings up the automation editor, which allows you to edit any automation that's within a clip or on a track. While in the arrangement view, you can very quickly bring up the mixer view so you can make adjustments to levels and or other mix settings. Another unique feature is the clip launcher in the arrange browser, which is right up here. With the clip launcher, you can launch clips while playing back a linear arrangement that exists within the arrange window. In the mix view, you can also launch clips to create non-linear based sequences or arrangements. If you press record on the sequencer at the top and start launching clips in the mix view, your arrangement will be created in real time. The next section I'd like to cover is some of the workflow enhancements and how we can use some of these enhancements to very quickly browse through the user interface. The easiest way to get around the Bitwig Studio interface is to learn the key commands. The key commands are more along the lines of what you would expect from something like Logic or Cubase, but they still remain logical and very easy to remember. One really neat feature is that the key command list can be quickly brought up by pressing the Control and Enter keys. Here you see a list of all of the command keys that have been assigned. Pressing the escape key allows you to very quickly hide it. The keys that you use to get to some of the main views are very simple. Pressing O on your computer keyboard brings up the Arranger Overview panel. Pressing A brings up the Automation Editor. Pressing L brings up the Clip Launcher panel. Pressing D brings up the Device panel. Pressing I brings up the Inspector panel. Pressing M brings up the Mixer panel. Pressing E brings up the Note Editor panel. And pressing T brings up the Track Header panel. To access the browser, where you can search for clips, samples, and plugins, you use the Option and B keys on the keyboard. Another great feature are the multiple display preferences. When using Bitwig on a laptop, you can go with the single display preference and either a large or small selection. When using Bitwig with multiple displays, you have a number of options here as well. So as you can see, Bitwig Studio has a number of the familiar elements that all DAWs share. Navigating with speed and agility is key for defining your workflow in any DAW. And hopefully you can see the value in learning these key commands for maximum efficiency while you work. As we continue with the series, we'll get deeper into the more advanced details of Bitwig Studio. And I hope that this video has provided the first piece of the puzzle by identifying first what we will be seeing and how to navigate around in the interface. 
Thanks for watching the video and I hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. For more information about our courses in New York, Los Angeles, and online, check out www.dubspot.com. Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.